Today we're going to be installing a radar detector in my C8 Corvette. Hi, I'm Donna Marie and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be installing a radar detector in my C8 Corvette. So what we're going to be doing today, um, this will work pretty much with all of the blend mount. We're using a blend mount bracket. So this will work, doesn't matter what radar detector you have, you're going to order the particular bracket that you will need based off of one, the car, and number two, the radar detector. Now, um, Blend Mount has been gracious enough to supply me with the bracket as well as the mirror tap. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you the part number that you're going to want to use, which is part number BMG-2028. Now, this applies to the, uh, the 2LT and 3LT only. Uh, so when you go to look on their website, make sure if you have a 1LT that you, um, you select the 1LT because the bracket is a little bit different. Now also the mirror tap, this will be the same for both the, the coupe and the convertible as well as the, um, the 1LT. Okay, So we're going to set that off to the side and I'm going to show you one other thing that you're going to need. Now, on, I'm installing a, an Escort radar detector. I'm using a, um, the, the 360C Redline, and it comes with a suction cup, okay? That's the type of bracket that it comes with, all right? It's a magnetic, this piece right here is a magnetic piece. Now, the, for whatever reason, the blend mount is not, they're not allowed to sell just this little magnet piece that goes on their bracket. So you have to take this magnet part out of the suction cup. This is include when you buy your radar detector, it's, it is included, right? And the suction cup is included and it comes with the magnetic piece. We're going to end up taking, you'll see this here in a minute, but I'm going to take this piece off and we're going to put it on the blend mount bracket. So you need the, the bracket, you need the wire kit, and then you also need your original suction cup. If you don't have it, then don't buy a generic one, okay? Make sure that you, and you can get them on Amazon and eBay and, and blend mount, it doesn't matter, but make sure you get the factory one and that will bolt on. So let me tell you a little bit, a couple of reasons why, and I did this in my C7, I talked about this before, um, when I wired it up and one of the things that is really weird I don't know I can't tell you how this works throughout the whole country but I can tell you here where I'm at in California how this all went down so basically years ago um, back in the days where the highway patrol they they used to have to be able to clock you um, in order to be able to give you a ticket and so then, of course, they adopted radar. And then at that point, people started going, well, I'm going to get a radar detector, right? Well, then they decided they were going to ban radar detectors. It was illegal in California for us to have a radar detector. So through a lot of fighting and negotiating and lots of lawsuits, basically what happened was is that the state said, okay, fine, you guys can have a radar detector but you can't stick it to the glass with a suction cup like all the radar detectors come with, right? So if your radar detector is on the glass, Highway Patrol probably isn't gonna give you a bad time, but they have every right to pull you over and confiscate your radar detector. So in that doing of them getting to be able to have a radar detector, right? We got to be able to have our radar detector to but the cops all got to be able to use radar and be able to use that in court against you. So that was the trade-off. And then, like I said, the only thing that they added into it was, well, you can have the radar detector, you just can't use the suction cup. So that, I believe that law is still in effect here in California still to this day. Um, and so that's why 
I am putting that up there. Now, there's a couple reasons. One is that. Another one is to that it kind of gets it up and out of the way. And you don't have to worry about turning it on and off all the time. It's literally right there, nestled right above your mirror. It turns on with the car, shuts off with the car. You don't have to even think about it. It's just there and on. Nothing worse than if I have bought a anywhere from four to $800 radar detector to have it off and and then end up getting a ticket anyway. So anyway, um, that's about it there, guys. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna jump into the car and we're gonna go ahead and show you how to wire up the wiring and how to get the bracket on and uh, then way, that way you can do it for yourself, okay? So sit back and relax, we'll show you how it's done. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm sitting over here in the passenger side and I've got my, my headlamp here and my and my lenses here in case I need to be able to get some magnification. My eyes aren't what they used to be, so I'm kind of prepping myself now. So the passenger side is the only way you can access what we're getting ready to do. There's no way you could get over there with the steering wheel and all the instrumentation that's over there. It would just you'd be totally contorted. So the best way to do it is to come over on this side. Then take advantage of the fact that the the seats move as far forward as they do over here on this side of the car okay because we've got to we've got to be able to take this this little cap off the back of the mirror okay so we're gonna go right over here I'm gonna put my little my little readers on here so I can see and you can see right here guys you can see right there that this is a cap okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in there and see if we can get get in there with this this little tool and pry this this open okay just like that okay and if you don't have this one you can use one of the body tools that you see me use in other ones the yellow ones okay and we're just going to set this off to the side now one of the other things that i did you probably wouldn't have any problems but i went ahead and i put a towel here so anything that falls down it's not going to hurt anything on the dash okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open our mirror tap. Now, our, again, it's a MT505. You can see that right there, hopefully. Okay. And maybe the camera gets it. There we go. All right. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to go ahead and get the wire tap out. It comes with the instructions on what to do. You're going to go red to red and black to black. But you're, they're already pre-bent. So you can see that, that they just go in. And they all they do is really just slide into the hole. So what we're going to do here is you can see, I'm going to try to try to get this where you can see a little bit better. It's, it's kind of hard, but you can see here down below, there's a black one right here. Let me see if I can see if I can point that out. So here's the black one right there. And then the red one is up here next to the green, okay? So all we're doing is we're going to move, we're just gonna insert the black into the black hole. Oh, that sounds funny. Okay. It's just gonna go, just kind of presses in there, you'll see that. Now, this one went in really easy, guys. Sometimes they don't go in that easy and you'll need to use a pair of pliers. Now watch, I'm, oh, I'm talking too soon almost because you watch, it'll end up being that we have a problem with the red one, but let's hope not. And it went right in, look at that. Okay, so now that's really all there is to it. So we're just gonna go upward, just like that. And we'll go up with that one too. Just like that. Then we can take our wire and we can go up like this. And then we can put our cap back on. Okay. Just like that. Now, what I would recommend you do is to get out of the car and double check it. Plug your radar detector in before you go any further. Okay, we'll just plug the radar detector in. 
and then I'm going to go ahead. If you have an assistant that can help you, uh, great. Just have them start the car, um, but I'm going to have to do it myself. So we'll just go ahead and we'll I'll get out and we'll test it. The reason I'm doing this, guys, is because remote start does not turn the system on. So we, you have to do it with the key. And there we go. Okay. Where I was talking about, this is the fun part where you have to be very careful. And I've done it a few times, so I know this for, I know this for a fact, okay? is that what you do is you we just got the wire all done and it's working we tested it right so when we go to do this we're going to push this in so it's going to kind of go let's see if i can kind of show you it's going to go in like so so we're going to slide it right it's going to kind of go do this it's going to go up and it will feel like it's not working Okay, so it feels like it's just not going to go in there. Well, what happens is this little guy gets in there, touches this wire, pulls it out of the socket, and then by the time you got it all, all hooked up, then it doesn't work. So you see what this is doing. It's wrapping around the neck of the mirror. You see, it's going to go like this, right? So that's how it does it. So you're basically, you're just going to kind of wiggle it in there. You'll feel it. It's going to go in. Okay, and then you're gonna move this this mirror tap just kind of out of the way, and you and if it pulls it out, you know you're gonna have to go and pull the cat the cover back off. Now that felt like it went in okay, but now is the time. Don't don't clamp it all down yet. Okay, you can swing this around and everything and just kind of get it like that, but don't don't tighten it all down yet make sure you can go ahead and put the radar detector back on it so what we can do is we can go ahead and we can plug it back in and then again we'll go ahead and we'll start the car and we'll make sure that it actually does work okay so before we tighten this all up so we're going to go ahead and we're going to just try it one more time and let's just hope that it works otherwise we're taking it all back apart okay here we go throughout the get-go so you just want to make sure you get those plugs in there correct and that you keep it off to the side where that center pin doesn't push those back out just like that and then we can get that to start it's like so then you can adjust the bracket however you need to adjust it. Okay, and we'll get that tightened down. Now this bracket is really ingenious, guys. This is probably one of the best brackets I've ever seen. Um, it was really, really well thought of and thought out. Um, this thing does not rattle, it doesn't shake, there's nothing. I know on the in the C7, the bracket was a really good bracket, but there was a tendency the way it was mounted that it could actually rattle a little bit and vibrate. But this one, there's just almost no way. The way it's designed, it just really fits. Okay, so now we got that tight, guys, and everything's the caps back on. We got our wire hooked up. Now we can literally just the radar detector in there and now what we can do is we can adjust this we've got all these different dis, you know positions here and what i recommend you to do is i would leave these you know leave these kind of kind of just snug enough right that you can still move it but this way you can make sure that it's pointing um pretty much straight out now what these were designed for is to be able to adjust side to side so maybe you don't want it pointed straight out 
right? You might not want it straight out. You might want it tilted toward the driver a little bit. Its range of detection is gonna work either way. So it's one of those things where I like it being straight, so that's what I'm gonna do, but you don't have to. Now you can do it where it's like way back here, tucked underneath the mirror, right? Some people like it like that. I like it where it's pretty much, you know, it, it's, it's out here kind of like this, and it's just low enough that I can reach over and I can hit the mute button, okay? I, I like to be able to hit the mute button. Some people, they, you know, they don't, they don't care, whatever it may be. They might not even know it exists. But then at that point, all I'm doing here is I'm just gonna start snugging things up, okay? So there's adjustments in all of these hinges, right? So you can do all this stuff. And you kind of get it where you want it, right? And then you kind of start snugging things up and then at that point you can like really fine tune it. So now you kind of know where it's at and it's like, okay, yeah, that's, that's sitting pretty straight right there. I kind of like it like that. I can still get my finger up in there. I got little fingers so I can get, I can get in there. That's kind of how it works. Now, if you want it up higher up, then you just adjust this accordingly. Okay. But that's, that's pretty good for me. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to start to snug these up a little bit. And this is aircraft, aircraft quality uh, aluminum here. So you can put some pretty good pressure on this. Okay. So we'll see if we can get this one in here. Hopefully my fingers are not in your guys' way. I want to make sure that my radar detector is level. Um, and so we've got all that going. We've got this, this one is done. This one is done. This one, this one is pretty close, right? Okay, so now we can go ahead. And if we need to, at this point, we can sneak over to the other side and we can go ahead and get it get it lined up exactly. Now, when I find or tighten these up, we'll, I'll go to the other side and tighten them. But here, we can go ahead and we can tighten these little guys up from here. That way, the radar detector is not moving on us. Okay, so let me see if I can... And this is a, literally is a, it's just preference, guys. Okay, so you have so many different positions. They gave you a lot of different options as far as how you want to mount this. Okay. So like I said, if you want it pointed left or right, you can do that. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can, we can get it. Um, I'll jump over to the other side and then we can go from there. Now what I'm going to do here before we get over there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this little guy and I'm just going to route this through here. Okay, so it's kind of there and it's it just kind of flows and it looks looks good. It comes with a couple wire ties and if you, you know, if you want the wire ties on there, I, I necessarily don't really like them. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And it's not going to go anywhere, but it does come with a couple of them if you choose to use them. Okay, I'm going to go over to jump on the other side, and then we'll tighten it up, and then we'll test everything. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put my seat where I normally would want it. I normally drive, okay, so I can make sure that it's set exactly where I want it. And I can see that from my standpoint right here, the radar detector looks like it's looking down just a hair. Okay, now you can see I can still get in there like this, but I need to adjust it up just a little bit on the front nose. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna take my screw, loosen it up a little bit, and just tilt the radar detector just a little bit, and then snug this one back up. Okay, just like that. Then I'm gonna come over to the other side, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, now that's not going anywhere. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten this one. We'll go ahead and get it like this. And put some angle on it. And then we move the mirror out of the way so I can see. Okay. Just like so. OK, 
Okay, so now I got it pretty, pretty good, right? I got it pretty much where I want it. So now what I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the cable loose. I'm gonna pull this out of the way, get this off, okay? It just tilts up and spins. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and I can get up in here where this, this other screw is and I can tighten it up. So now, now I can really get on it, right? Because I can get there. With the radar detector in the way, almost impossible. But this way. And from this angle, this one is kind of hard for me to see, guys. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's all there is to that. Okay. At that point, we'll go ahead and we'll put this little guy back together. We'll plug this in. Push that back in there like so. Got that. I can get my finger in there. I'm going to bring the mirror back down where I can see it. And you can see that I can still get in from both sides. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to test it. And there we go. It's working. Okay. So guys, that's really all there is to installing a radar detector in a C8 Corvette. So guys, that's all there is to installing a blend mount radar detector bracket in your C8 Corvette. They're very, very simple. Just take your time. It, again, I say that all the time, but just take your time. You don't scratch anything. You don't hurt anything. Make sure you cover the dash up so you don't have that, you know, drop something on it. It also saves in the event that you drop a screw that it's going to fall on the towel and you're not going to be digging all over the carpet to be able to find it. Okay, so just follow my instructions here and you will not have any problem installing it in your car. So hopefully you found this video helpful and informative, and if you did, you'll know exactly where to go to get your radar detector bracket. Doesn't matter what car you've got or what radar detector you have, they've got them all. I'm gonna put their information right here on the screen. It's blendmount.com. They have the brackets and they have the power taps to be able to fit all of the stuff. There are generic ones out there, don't trust them. I've installed some and the people have wasted their money because they, they drove them crazy and they had me pull them back out and put a blend mount in. So with that said, they, yes, they are a little more expensive than all the cheap ones out there. But I'm telling you right now, if you go cheap, you'll end up doing it again. Um, the only other thing I can tell you guys is that they, when you call them or you go onto their website, it's very, very informative. They will talk to you. They'll explain to you what you need. Um, and then if they don't have it, they will tell you, hey, we sell on Amazon. Amazon probably has some of our stock um, and they keep the same prices. So, you know, Amazon typically has them, uh, but and you can get them in a day or so, right? The only thing I want to warn you about with that is that when blend mount says they have it in stock and this is the one that fits based off of their seismic chart you can trust it but if you go to amazon and you and you just click on oh hey i need it for and I, this is my own uh, my own experience i need one for a c7 they're going to give you a number and it's going to show up in their chart this fits it does not okay so um be sure, even if you're buying it from Amazon, you're still buying it from Blendmount, so they're still gonna get credit for it. But what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you check with Blendmount first and then get the part number from their website and then put the part number into the, um, into the search bar in Amazon. And then it's gonna say that it doesn't fit, but it will. Trust the numbers on Blendmount's site. They know what they're doing. Amazon's got that all screwed up. So anyway, uh, enough of that, guys. Blendmount.com and get the parts you need, okay? Um, and I just want to I want to thank Blendmount today. Um, we were at the NHRA drags of in Sonoma a, a few, uh, got a couple months ago now, and um, the vice president of Blendmount. Uh, Sebastian, if you're watching this, I appreciate that. He recognized me. You, you recognize me, Sebastian, and I appreciate that, that you 
came over and talked to me. And my car was on display, my C7 was on display. And he walked over and he looked and he saw that I was using a blend mount bracket. And so I said, hey, would you mind sponsoring me? I've got a C8 coming. And he said, you bet, you bet. So um, they went ahead and they sent me the parts to be able to do this video to show you guys how to do it. And this leads into the other reason that I'm saying this is that guys, so when you guys subscribe and you guys hit that little bell and you keep doing this, right? People, I get noticed. I totally get noticed. These sponsors, they see it. They know that, I mean, the vice president of a company, a large company, recognized me from YouTube and was willing to sponsor me, right? So with that being said, I just thought it was pretty cool that he recognized me and he was willing to do that because you guys subscribed. So I wanna thank those of you that have subscribed already, I wanna thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, maybe you've been watching or maybe you, it's the first time you're watching, hit the subscribe button please and hit that bell. So you, one, you'll be alerted of our next uploads, but you know, you it's, it's just a great thing. It becomes a family thing. And then you guys, there's a lot of comments that the same people, they make comments about certain things on how I did stuff. And I am all open for, my ears are wide open. Sometimes I'll get comments, but hey, you did a great job. Sometimes I'll get comments, hey, you know, you could have done this a little bit differently. It would have made it easier. And a lot of times they're right. So um, I do read each and every comment and I almost always respond to every comment out there. So uh, I just want to thank you guys and, and thank you guys again for watching today. Hopefully this helps you and I really hope that all of my videos help you guys. So um, guys stay tuned. I've got a whole bunch more going on with the, with the C8 as well as we've got more parts that just came in for the a C5 and a C6 that we'll be doing and um, you know, to, so we haven't abandoned the old ones. And those of you that have the, the fours, fives, and sixes, and sevens, hey, we're gonna still do videos. I just happen to be doing these right now because I had been stockpiling. My sponsors have been sending me parts all along waiting for this car to show up. So now, now it's time I gotta make do and get those videos done. So guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy them all. And again, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. We want to thank you so much for watching the Corvette channel. If you liked the video you just watched, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.